Hello, and welcome to Bolton Library's BorrowBox User Guide. In this demonstration, we will show you how to install and use BorrowBox. BorrowBox can be used on a number of different devices iPad, tablet, iPod, or even downloaded onto your PC. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to use an iPad. To get started, you will need your Bolton Library's membership card number and a four digit PIN number. Don't worry if you don't know your PIN. You can contact us via libraries at bolton.gov.uk and we can sort that out for you. So if you are using an iPad, go to the App Store. For other devices, go to Play Store. In the search box at the top of the screen, start typing Borrow Box. You will soon see a drop down list appear. Select Borrow Box Library from the list. The app will then appear with its distinctive green box icon. Install the app onto your device. This may take some time, but once it's downloaded, select Open and the BorrowBox home screen will appear. Now that you've downloaded the app, you just need to sign in with some personal details. First of all, BorrowBox will need to know which library authority you belong to. Tap the screen where it says Library and start typing BOL for Bolton and Bolton Libraries will appear in the drop-down list. Select Bolton Libraries. You will then need to input your Bolton Libraries membership number and PIN. Your membership number should be prefixed with the number 16 and then the letter P. That's 1, 6 and the letter P and then the rest of your membership number. Enter your PIN number and sign in. When you have signed in, you will see a terms and condition page. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will agree to these, but you can read them at your leisure if you wish to do so when you are signing in yourselves. There's just a couple more things to sign in with, and then your account is complete. Please type in your email address and a display name. Most people Use their first name as their display name. Beneath the display name, you will see two buttons. The first button is asking if you wish to subscribe to the library newsletter. This is a free newsletter which gives you information on all our events and activities. Just slide the button across. The next option is asking if you would like to receive updates from BorrowBox. This is quite useful as BorrowBox can then inform you about any upgrades to the app and when your loans are about to expire or that reservations are available for you to read or listen to. Once you have made your choices, select Done. You are now registered to use BorrowBox. The next screen that you will see is a Hints and Tips screen from BorrowBox. This will be useful to work through when you first join However, you can skip that page if you wish to do so. The next page is your home page for BorrowBox. This page will show you your loans, reserves and has a number of icons at the bottom of the screen, which will be of use to you. The first icon at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side is a pile of books. This is your library account and loans. Then. There is a headset for e-audiobooks, an open book for e-books, a magnifying glass for searching and the cogwheels for settings. Using the magnifying glass, let's search for a book by author. On this occasion, we'll look for an e-book. When you have searched by a specific author, you will see a list of the author's titles and the book covers. You will also be able to see if a particular title is out on loan. To select a title, just tap on the book cover. 
This shows you the book in more detail and gives you a synopsis of the plot. At the bottom of the screen, you have two options. Preview, which will provide you with more details of the book, or Borrow. Select Borrow to borrow the book, and then when you've selected Borrow, you will get a little box asking you to confirm your loan. Your book is now ready to read. At this point, you will get a notification to say your loan was successful, and you can read now or keep browsing. That's entirely up to you. You will also be asked if you would like to receive notifications as to when your loans are about to expire. Just select yes or no. There are also some extra features which will help you to personalise your reading experience. Go to the first page of the first chapter of your book and tap the screen at the bottom of the page. A box will appear which will allow you to set the size and style of the font by tapping on the A symbol and you can also change the background colour of the paper to suit your visual needs. So now that you've negotiated ebooks, let's take a look at e-audiobooks. Search the e-audiobooks catalogue and find a title that appeals to you. And the process is the same as for ebooks. Select the title you want. The borrow option will once again appear at the bottom of the screen. Select borrow and confirm your loan. You can either listen now or keep on browsing. Tap the green download button to access the e-audiobook. You will be asked if you want future loans to be downloaded automatically when a Wi-Fi connection is available. This is up to you. There are also some features on the e-audiobook screen which you will also find useful. For example, at the bottom of the screen, in the far left hand corner, you'll see a speed button. It allows you to either speed up or slow down the narrator. There's also a pause button, a fast forward and a rewind button. You can also go 30 seconds ahead or 30 seconds backwards by pressing the relevant buttons. In the far right hand corner at the bottom of the screen there is a button that says sleep. From this button you can set a timer to automatically stop playing the e-audiobook. To return to the My Loans page, just press on the arrow in the top left hand corner of the screen. You will now see from your loans page that we have borrowed one ebook and one e audiobook. If you look in the top right hand corner, the amount of items you have available is five for each category. The total allocation for Bolton Libraries is six titles from each category. Once you have finished reading or listening to an item, returning your items is simple and very easy to do. Just tap on the return button and the item is returned to BorrowBox and is removed from your device. You will be prompted to confirm the return and the items will appear in your loan history in the bottom half of the screen. The loan history is useful as it reminds you what you've already read or listened to. So, you've downloaded the app, you've created your registration, and you've borrowed two items. You are now a BorrowBox user. Thank you for listening and watching. If you do have any queries or need some help, please don't hesitate to contact us via libraries at bolton.gov.uk. Thank you.